morning, Quack Chapter 101 here. And today's shout out goes to the F Psycho. The F Psycho was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here with a review of it. This is actually a neat airplane, folks. I, I kind of like it. I'm kind of excited to fly it tomorrow here. Uh, this is the uh, Air, Airbus A380 drone or aircraft uh, recently released here. Um, it is a large drone or large aircraft, folks. 500 more, 540 millimeter wingspan. I'm having a hard time keeping it in the picture here. Um, things about it that are special. It's constructed of EPP foam, like most of these uh, aircraft. Um, it is three channel control. We have tr uh, control of throttle and we have control. It doesn't have rudder control, but it has yaw control. And the way that is achieved is through differential thrust on these four motors. It is powered by four motors, folks. Four little 716 motors on each one of these wing pods on the aircraft. These motors also, in addition to having motors there, let me see if I can find that on. I'll switch here, turn it on, are lighted. So you can, it actually looks pretty cool on it's, it comes with a stand, okay? You put it on its stand with those lights. It looks really cool at night flying this thing. Um, if you, at dusk, you want to fly it at dusk, not at uh, full darkness at night. Um, other things about it, it is stabilized. It has 6G stab stabilization in beginner mode. And you can turn that off and, uh, and it'll be semi-stabilized. That'll allow you to do loops with the aircraft as it does have uh, elevator control. You can actually do full inverted loops with the aircraft. Supposedly, we'll find out when we go fly it. Uh, nice big aircraft that can do loops. Okay, okay. I mentioned 4716. It has the LEDs. I mentioned that. It is powered by a 3.7 volt 550 milliamp hour battery. Your standard white low C connector uh, generic battery that goes in the belly there. I already installed it because I wanted to show the lights on this. There is also an optional light switch here if you want to add your own lights to it. Uh, there's a little power plug there right behind the on off switch right there for the aircraft. And additionally, there is an, also one more LED on the belly here right up by the nose wheel. So I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that will probably flash when we're in the air on low battery. We'll find out when we go fly it. Okay, the range on this is supposedly goes out to 200 meters with this controller, so that's plenty of range for this big aircraft. And uh, finally, uh, I think I covered most of everything about the aircraft. So I'm kind of excited. You know, they use these uh, little 716s with these uh, ducts here. Hopefully that will help improve. You know, a ducted motor <laughs> should help improve the thrust. Um, although these are seem to be the same diameter all the way through, I would expect it to expand as it goes toward the back. But we'll see how well these motors perform with those ducts on there. So what you get in the box is the instruction manual in English, which is good. <laughs> the aircraft, the 540 millimeter Airbus. This is a big plane, folks, for beginner flyers. Beginners should easily be able to fly this when we get out there. You get the stand for the aircraft, when you, the display stand that you put, you can put the aircraft on. Let me see if I can show it to you how it works. You have to close the door there, but there's two little holes there that, on the door. One's on the door and one's right behind the uh, battery door and it installs like so and uh, I'm sorry folks I wasn't looking but it installs like so and then holds it on the display stand for you if you wish to display the aircraft um, also you get a screwdriver for you have to install the wing and the way you install the wing there are two cables in there there's one cable for the lights and there's one cable for the servos uh, going to the servos and the motors uh, powering the motors and you have to plug both of those cables in before you insert the wing and then you unscrew the wing in place through uh, one screw which I believe was on the front here you install one screw in there and that holds the wing there's a little hook in the back that holds the back part of the wing and then you install the landing gears they, they just plug right in and uh, you're ready to go and I see I installed this look at that folks <laughs> I installed that one uh, sideways it's supposed to go this way so there you go now it's correctly installed. So you see how easy that was to install the uh, landing gear on the aircraft. So, And uh, what else do you get? You mentioned the screwdriver. You get a little charging USB port for charging the 550 milliamp hour battery. You should be able to charge this in your computer through your computer port or through a wall, wall charger for your phone using this little um, USB charger. You get the controller. 
that comes with the aircraft and you get a spare set of propellers and now before we go flying let's quickly go over the controller again the controls that we got on this are throttle we have uh, yaw control which would normally be uh, rudder control we call it but it's yaw because we're using differential thrust and we have elevator control here these buttons here are for trimming up the aircraft we have uh, yaw control or yaw trim here and we have pitch trim here and this button here is for turning on and off the lights if you want to save battery power you can turn off those lights to get a little, just squeak a little more flight time out of it. I don't think you'll get much though. <laughs> I'd, I'd leave them on. And finally, this button, this big button here on the right, is for you start off in beginner mode, and if you want to go do your expert, go into expert mode, you press this button one time, and you should. It, what that does is it turns off the pitch stabilization so that you can exceed uh, a maximum pitch angle to do those loops with the aircraft. And of course, this is your on-off switch here. So that is the Airbus A380, folks. Let's take this nice-sized airplane out into the field and see how it performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101. On a chilly, bright, sunny day here at the park, uh, there's something going on here. I think there's uh, cross-country running going on here. So you might see people running by here. But either way, let's get this aircraft to the air. Okay, to start this up, I already put the battery inside. And to turn it on, we just need to hit on the on-off switch on the belly there. It's got an on-off switch. And then put it on a flat level surface, like so. And then turning on the transmitter. And bind, actually, it's already bound to the aircraft. So check your control surfaces up, down. That's working properly. And give it a little throttle left, right. So that's working properly, too. So we should be ready to go. Okay. And letting the uh, quad go by here. Okay, we got a wind coming from that direction, and to get it, yeah, the wind's picking up here about three miles per hour, and give it a little throttle. Oh my, this thing takes right to the air. Hardly any throttle at all, it takes right to the air. Okay, it's balancing itself in the wind, give it a little more throttle. And trying it out. Going right through the sun. Okay, what I'm going to try to do, folks, is back and forth in front of us here so you can see it wiggling the wings trying the wings out going around trying the other way trying the other way to the left give more throttle reduce the throttle it flies nicely now again there is a wind I got a wind here about six miles per hour trying it out in the wind going down to the right coming in. okay let's try a loop <laughs> it did the loop fine it's still um, stabilized in I'm in our advanced mode here but it's still stabilized went that way I'm gonna give it more throttle again pushing down and uh, no it didn't didn't roll that way didn't loop that time okay coming up and Going back to beginner's rate. So that wind seems to be an issue here. We've got a wind of about six miles per hour, and it is definitely slowing the aircraft down going into that wind. So let's try it again. Now I got a lip down there, and that okay takes right to the air. Okay, I'm giving a max throttle there, and it doesn't want to go back into the air. So hold on a second, folks. Let's see if I need to rebind the aircraft. It might be the battery, because I had it installed <laughs> before I came out here. But I have a second battery, so let me put a second battery in it, folks, and see how the second battery works. Okay, fresh battery installed, turning on the aircraft, putting it again on a flat level surface, binding to the transmitter, and checking the surfaces. And I'm noticing, well, how are those surfaces? They're fine. They're, they're centered. And let's try it again. Fresh battery. Let's see if this corrects the problem. Much better. <laughs> so that, yeah, definitely that battery was low. So let's fly it around with the second battery. Get some speed on it. 
again, we got a wind here, and we got this lip here. That oh, this is flying nicely now. It's climbing. Let's see if I can glide it, inducing throttle. And I'm I'm flying over this lip here that gives me some updraft, and it's flying nicely up there. Okay, going to a higher rate. Try to loop. There, did a loop. Going back to low rate. So yeah, it does loops, and it glides. Let's bring it closer so you can see it. Reducing throttle. Actually, just I'm gliding. So yeah, that battery was dead. Um, I plugged it in overnight, folks. I thought that um, having it off, the switch was off, that it wouldn't kill the battery, but <laughs> do not leave the battery in this aircraft, even with the switch off. <laughs> okay, coming down lower. Good thing I brought a fresh battery. <laughs> It is a good beginner's plane. Pretty neat model of the A380. One by me. I'm going to come around again. This time I'm going to go back to advanced rate. Throttle. Ah! <laughs> going back to beginners. Didn't have the oomph there, that battery, that time to do the loop. You know, it, the loops that this does, it can do loops, but they are lumbering loops. <laughs> I recommend just forgetting about doing loops with it. Coming around. Now, those of you wondering, can this bind with um, uh, multi-protocol transmitters? Yes, it can. Okay, I've tried it. It binds with the MT99 protocol. I've already bound it, so you know it uses the same protocol as the Mini Wing Dragon. So, actually, I've flown it using the Mini Wing Dragon protocol. So, MT99 is the protocol you want with it. So, dang, it's a good thing I brought an extra battery, <laughs> and it's a good thing this thing uses um, generic batteries, so you can find them easily easily find spare batteries for this coming around going around trying to keep it close but this is a big plane again using differential thrust so you gotta be gentle with the turns And again, I'm using that lip there to give me extra updraft there from the wind. And it's actually working quite well. There's that lip on the ground there. <laughs> Slight, tiny little hill. But it's enough to give you updraft. Wow, it just goes right up <laughs> right there. <laughs> So that's all I'm doing here is uh, doing uh, not figure eights, but back and forth turns in the, into the wind. Slope soaring, in other words. So yeah, you can do that with this lumbering giant. Okay, let's see what type of flight time we'll get with that 580. Know that per hour battery on this. starting to get weak. I'm giving more throttle. It's starting to get weak now. But eh, that's about it, folks. You know, those four motors, they do burn up a lot of the energy from that battery. That's the amount of flight time you get there that, that I would expect. Because keep in mind, that little battery, that little 5A is pushing a big aircraft. It's This is quite a big aircraft. So that is the flight of the A380 airliner from, uh, actually, I don't know who makes this, uh, I suspect Ishii, it's a, this is probably an Ishii model because it's using, again, that MT-99 protocol, so, that uh, the Mini Wing Dragon uses, so. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again, 
Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.